Hi. So I spotted a high fret on my Jane Doe Telecaster. Well, no big deal. Overall, it's very good level and everything, but it's perhaps one or two frets that is just a little bit too high. So I'm about to take them down a little bit and level them out so I can adjust the string height a little bit better. So I thought I'd show you the process of this. So here we go. So the high fret is somewhere in this area right here. So I need some cappuccino to put on it. Oh no, I'm just kidding. So let's take a look here. You hear that? Yeah. So what I'm about to do now is to take off the strings or perhaps get them to the side. Maybe I don't have to take them off, but take them away from the fretboard. I will straighten out the neck because the tension of the strings make the, the neck uh, under tension. So when I take the strings away, uh, perhaps there will be a, a back bow or something like that. So I'll take away the strings and straighten out the neck as flat as I can. And then I'll start the process from there. So what I've done here is taken away the strings here. I straighten out the neck as good as I can. Uh, so in order to, to spot the, the high fret, I usually take my lamp so it's shining from behind and I just put my little uh, straight edge tool right here so I can see which one it is and where it's where the high fret is seems like that fret right there and it's starting somewhere around here so I take my little sharpie and I put some black paint on there just so I know which one it is uh, then I could continue this to see if there is any more. It's all good there. Huh? Got a high fret here as well. That one right there. It's only a tiny little bit there. I continue. A little high fret there, but I don't know if it's anything that will cause any problems. That one is a little bit high as well. I take up the top of that one as well. It's just from just the half fret, I believe. 
and now that's the it's all the all the fret. So there we have a pretty good start. I'm gonna check one more time here. I think I'm good to go to start with the ones I already marked up here. It's very important that you don't take off too much because then you are screwed. So what I do now is I take some some tape, masking tape, and I put on here because I don't want to scratch up this lovely ebony fretboard I always put two layers to be on the safe side as close to the fret as possible Same here. This is very important, so remember that uh, never ever do a fret job uh, without tape on here because that would be devastating. So be very, very sure that you put some tape on there. I've already said it many times now, but... This is the... Uh, the highest fret that I think caused the most problems here so I think I will be satisfied with this after leveling these ones out uh, I don't think there is some small tiny tiny fret bus on other frets but I think it will not cause any problems here so here we can see uh, I have some problems with my tripod here. Uh, here we can see that it's a little bit on the half the fret here. It starts from from the half. It starts rocking all the way there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take my 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 file here very carefully. Uh, make sure you have it flat on like this not angled because that will make some problems I just carefully make some few rips here from the half I'd say in this case Just a little at a time. That one is still high. Well, it's good from... It, it's just a, a tiny little bit left here. And I think we're good to go there. A little more, a little more. I 
a little little more almost just a tiny little bit more I I'd say that's good no more fret rocking perfect so as you can see I don't know if you can how well you can see this but I didn't take very much uh, I didn't put any force on on the file I basically just laid it on there and just carefully carefully okay so the fret is actually a little bit flat on here now uh, just not very much but just a little bit so I take my little sharpie here uh, I put some black on it there on the area where it's flat only something like that perhaps now it's time for the crowning process I usually I showed you this in another video I usually uh, start in an angle that is something like this but as this is so little right here I can start in an angle perhaps something like this just carefully doing it like this I want to smooth out the the uh, the edges of my leveling that's the whole point with this it will take some time before you learn this it's not very easy it's not an easy process uh, the whole idea is to smooth out the 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 flat area until it's just a tiny little strip there in the middle of the the black paint I put on there I think I'm pretty much good to go now it's just a tiny little black area in the middle here so I think I'm pretty much good to go there can take a little more on the edge perhaps yeah it's not flat anymore just round and smooth so now it's time for a little check here no more rocking yeah that's good so it's time for the the polish process so what I'm about to use here is two different types of sandpaper uh, 800 grit then we go to 1000 and that's 1000 that's super super fine and finally I will use some some kind of polish to to get the 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 shiny thing back so in this case when I'm using 800 here uh, this is well known for burning your fingers right but the only thing I will do in this case I will only you know I will not put any force on there I will just try to smoothen it out and get it get rid of the, the scratches that the file made that's the whole idea with it could be a little bit hard but usually it works pretty well uh, in some cases it could be that the fret is still some type of uh, matte finish and that's not very good but 
I'll try my very best here to to get it as shiny as possible. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's a little bit matte, but most important is that it's leveled. So, and this fine sandpaper here will not take off any of the um, on the top of the of the fret, so you can actually put some force on there. Of course, it's super fine grit, so it doesn't really matter. And you take the fret all over, and I think I'm pretty good to go there. The more the more you polish this like this, the better the result it will be. That's for sure. I'm sorry about my hand there guys. I'm trying to get this as good as possible. It's kind of simple when doing this um, random frets. If you're doing it all over, this will take quite some time. Trust me, it will take hour if you're doing a full fret job here. Looks great. Yeah, so what I do now, I go to the 1000 grit. 1000 it is, super, super fine. Polish, polish, all over. Um, just about to get rid of as much scratches from the file as possible. It's already starting to get some shiny there. So I think I'm pretty good to go very soon with the other stuff that I got. Was thinking about. Uh, it's just about polishing, basically. Yeah, I think I'm good to go there. It's a little bit matte finish there, but we take the, uh, the polishing now and see how it works. So something that I used back in the days that I thought I'd go ahead and try again uh, is something called Autosol. Yeah, this is not really a polishing, but uh, it shines a little bit and, you know, uh, it gives some 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 shiny to the to the surface i used this a lot back in the days uh, i just you know take a tiny tiny little bit i put it on on the fret like this you don't need very much take some of this stuff right here then I rub, rub, rub. All over. You can see all that black right there. And the fret is just like new. It's super awesome shiny. This is awesome. I did a really good job there. I wouldn't say one of my best, but this is awesome. It's super shiny, super, super shiny. It's not even matte anymore. I don't know how well you can see this, but it's super shiny just like the others. I'm satisfied with this. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other frets now. Uh, the result here is awesome. So I did the fret over the 12th fret here 
and it's super super shiny it's awesome it's even better than the factory shining but I discovered something that I would like to share with you guys uh, if you have a high fret close to the body here that could cause problem to you know to to take off the material because you don't want to scratch up your body right there so be sure to tape off like this just temporary of course so you have at least some little protection if your file would slip or if something would happen always always do this so you are on the safe side at least the masking tape will take some damage if you slip or anything like that so this is kind of very important to do because I don't want to scratch up the paint job on the body rear something like this so you have good protection here you can also do like that so this is kind of a tricky uh, because normally maybe I would take the neck off this one but this is a set neck so I can't really do that and I can't really use the angle that I want because the body is in its way so uh, what I'm about to do here is to use uh, I will put it on the side here and try to get it as as uh, straight as possible on the fret here I don't want the angle like this I want it just very very straight and of course I could turn the guitar around and do it from the other side but that will cause some problems with this one right here so I decided to go with this one so let's give it a, a try here and it's pretty much to take off as well if you listen here so let's get started with this This is kind of tricky. Once I've done this side here, take my straight edge to see. Ah, oh, still more to go. Still more to go. I'm getting there just a tiny little bit more this difficult area right here don't put any force on the file just let the file do the job for you okay a little bit more Yeah, that's good. Just some tiny, tiny little rocking there. A little bit more.
Yeah, that's good. Now I can start to work over the the lower area right here. Then it's good to you can see that I have some space here, so I can use my normally working angle here to take off the material. Remember now, this is not an easy task. You can easily screw this up and you need to refret the whole guitar. So you need to learn this by practice on crap necks and stuff like that. Need some more in a certain space right over the, the top here. Just a little at a time. Just a little bit over here. Tiny, tiny, a little bit more. I think I'm satisfied with that. So I work my way down here, the fret. Take a little bit more. Not too much. You will get a sense of how much to take off and you get some experience about this. I'm good to go there. That's just perfect. No more rocking there, I tell you. Oops, is it a little bit? I don't know, I'm good to go there, I think. Yeah. Take my little sharpie here. Make sure to cover all the flat area. Only the flat area, nothing else. Like that. The problem is now, when crowning this one right here, I, you can see that the body is still in the way, so I can't really well, maybe I could, maybe, let's try this and see, oops, yeah, that's just about it, I could barely, You want to make sure that you do this right, so it's very, very important. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And you want to flatten it out, like I said in a previous video. Yeah, that's it. So you see how good it is to have protection here. Actually the file was touching uh, the body right here. So I didn't make any scratches because I had some protection on there. And now I can work over the, the fret wire like this. Very gently. Not put any force on there at all. Just let the file do the job for you.
This take a long, long, long time if you're doing all the frets. Trust me, it's not really an easy task. But at the same, same time, it's a fun thing to do, you know. I think I'm pretty good to go there. All rounded and all good. So now to the polish process. Take my 800 grit right here. Start to polish, polish, polish. This is a real finger burner. I think I'm pretty good to go there. Seems like. So now to the fun process, right? Take some out of sole here. Put some on my finger, just like I did earlier. And put it on there, all over the fret like this. Take some of this stuff here, then it's time to shine, shine. This is going to be awesome. It's going to be like new or even better. Trust me. I used Autosol back in the days when I was still kind of learning this kind of stuff. But later on I moved on to Something I bought from Stumac that is pretty much similar to the outer sole. You can polish metal and that kind of stuff. This is this is good now. I'm good to go now. This is awesome. Very very shiny and good. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Uh, I, I know I made a video about this um, a few days ago, but I thought I'd show you more in detail uh, about the, the polishing stuff, so you get that high gloss back on your frets. That's very important. Um, you don't want fret that is kind of matte finish. You want them to be very shiny and good. Uh, that increases the, the, the possibility to play the guitar as well. So, I still have some more things to do here, so I better keep this video as short as possible. It's already about 15 minutes, I think, so I hope this video was helpful for you. And remember not to rush anything when you're doing this kind of stuff, because you will mess up, trust me. Take your time and be very careful. Practice, 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 and maybe one day you will be very good at this. And usually it's very very expensive to uh, to send the guitar to a luthier shop or something like that to do it for you. So if you learn this by yourself, you got a lot of money to save there. Yeah, bye.